Hello YouTube and welcome back to Virtual Worlds Ableton tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about music theory and basically we're going to, I'm going to be teaching you how to compose a track, an electronic track, to a typical composition that you can find in most electronic dance music. There's two types of composition. There's non-typical which doesn't really have a specific uh, composition type. That's called non-typical. But you find most of the big names in the music industry in the electronic dance world, whether it be drum, bass, dubstep, EDM, so, so on and so forth, they all conform to this typical composition style, how it's structured. So we'll go through it. I've laid it all out so you can see quite clearly what it is. I'll just expand it. I've loaded in one of my remixes to Skrillex's Equinox, where basically I've just arranged it my way and added a few different instruments in there. But the track isn't the main focus of the tutorial is how to actually structure a track so as we go through it as you can see you've got intro you have your intro you have 16 bars of intro you can start with drums or not drums then you go into a 16 bar build up or break you can have all together the intro comprised of 32 bars you have the intro then after 16 bars you have the break build up which sort of breaks it down you usually remove the drums then you build it up with a snare roll or a drum roll into a peak but what you can do you can have a 24 bar intro you don't really want to go lower than a 24 bar intro really you can have 16 but it sounds a bit too quick I usually have 32 bar build up that's what this that's what most of them seem to do and then what you do after a six after a 16 bar break that builds up we have don't worry I'll play it back in just a second so you can see what I'm doing then you have a pre-drop, anywhere from one bar to four bars. I've done it quite quick, so we get into the drop much sooner. I've got a pre-drop of one bar. Then we have a chorus, which is a drop. A chorus is basically what they call a drop in electronic dance music. We've got drop one, it's 32 bars. Feel free, if you think your record goes on too long for having 32 bars as a drop, feel free to experiment and go down to 24 bars. Then after 32 bars of your drop, you then... Excuse me. You then come to your break, your breakdown. You have 16 bars of break. Then I've chosen just to keep the main break 24 bars in total. So 16 bar break, then an 8 bar build up. 18, 8 plus 16 is 24 bars. I like a 24 bar break because otherwise 32 bars can seem a bit long. Let's get back into the main gist of the drop. So we've got an 8 bar build up, then I've got a pre drop of 1 bar, like I did previously into drop 1. Then we're going to drop two, which is another 32 bars. But you can have 24 bars if you so desire. Possibly 16. The lowest you ever want to do a break is 16 bars. Never go lower than that. It'll just seem too rushed. But I usually have my break at 24 bars. And I have my drops at 32 bars for dubstep. When we're on that 150 BPM. So then we've got drop two, which is 32 bars. And then you go into the outro, which can have 32 bars or 24 bars. I've got it at 24 bars. And there you go, the whole track's about just over 3 minutes 50. So now if we go back to the beginning, we'll play it. Okay, this is the first intro 16 bars. Remember, the, t the total of the intro is 32 bars. We've got the beginning intro, then we've got the break build intro at 16 bars. Listen to this. and be watch, watch out for when it changes into 16th bar. So see what the changes that happens. Here we go. <laughs> Can you see? Can you hear? I haven't started with any drums until I get to bar 8. Here we go, here comes the drum. Pay attention, because here comes the next change into the 17th, into the 16th bar. Here we go, the next change. It's very subtle. It's more of a continuation from the first lot of 16 bars. This is the 8 bar snare roll. We're coming up to a pre drop where it stops momentarily for a bar to drop into. There we go. There we go. And into drop one, the chorus, for 32 bars.
and then after you play your 32 bars of your drop take notice of it comes into the break we'll play from here now into the break see 16 bars I've removed the drums and I've got an atmospheric element <coughs> after 8 bars I introduce the drums again then after this 8 bars I introduce the snare roll to build up just for 8 bars here comes the snare roll Then we'll get into the pre-drop for one bar, where it breaks, where it stops completely, just for one vocal. You kick into drop two. There comes drop two. For the first two bars, slightly different to drop one. And if we play back, pay attention to this part of YouTube, this is where the outro comes in. Watch for it. There you go, there's the outro for 24 bars. As you can hear, the track is now winding down. For the last eight bars, I've removed the drums to let the audience know it's nearing the end of the record. Then I have a fade out, a slow fade out, and that's the end of the record. And that's basically the typical musical composition style for most electronic dance tracks. You'll find, if you uh, listen to your favorite electronic dance track where it's drum and bass dubstep edm house whatever it is hardcore whatever you'll find most of them for the typical composition style which is what i've just taught you here this is how it's laid out you might have different names for their different sections but this is how usually they lay it out but if, if you don't conform to this which most of them do conform to this sort of composition because it, it 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 really tells the story nicely in your tracks and it lets audiences know where they are about in your track if you don't follow this composition and you don't really have any structure, proper structure to it, it's called non-typical, which professional artists tend to stay away from unless they're experimenting. But you'll find when you break down the track, it all conforms to this typical composition style. Anyway, that's it for today's video, YouTube. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Be lucky, be safe, and have a great day. See ya.